Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about OET reading part E. Please watch this video till the end. You will get most valuable tips and tricks at the end of the video. Let's begin with OET reading part E. You will get 20 questions. This is very very important. Here time management is very very important. You have only 15 minutes to answer 20 questions. At the end of the 15 minutes, both the question paper and text booklet are collected. The text booklet contains the four texts. Text A, Text B, Text C and Text D. All answers should be written directly in the spaces provided in the question paper. Okay, you will get a question paper. You have to write the answers at the space provided in the question paper. Okay. The question types are in OET reading part A. First question, match the questions, matching questions. You will get seven questions in. Uh, first one to seven questions will be matching questions. Second type is short answer questions 7 to uh, 14 that is again you will get seven questions in short answer questions and last is this questions will be sentence completion or not completion how to approach oet reading part a first question i already told you the first question will be matching questions first is seven questions these questions are always at the beginning of the reading part B because they can help you answering the later questions. You will get an overall idea about the question booklet, what the question is asking, what is test A, maybe some definition or some disease condition or uh, clinical assessment or medication or treatment. Like that you will get four tests. You will get an overall idea about um, if you do the matching question. When you do the when you do the matching questions, you will get an overall idea of the question booklet. Short answer questions. For the short answer question, you have to read the question very very carefully. That means you have to understand the meaning of the questions. Okay. That is very, very, I already told you, it is very, very important. You have to understand the meaning of the questions. Then you have to write the answers in the space provided in a word or phrase. I repeat once more. It is an occupational English test or it is reading part A. Your aim is to get 20 out of 20. My aim is also give you a, give you uh, a valuable advice and tips to get 20 out of 20 marks in all the reading part here. Time management, I already told you, time management is very, very important. Here, you will get 15 minutes. Within 15 minutes period, you have to complete 20 questions. Okay. You have to practice time management. You have to practice time management. Fix a time. Initial period, you can... Uh, you, you can use 20 minutes or 25 minutes. Then slowly, you have to come down to 50 minutes. Then you have to look at the four text A to D in the following pages. For each question, 1 to 20, look through the text and find the relevant information. Write your answers in the spaces provided in the question paper. Answer all the questions within the 15 minutes time limit. Your answer should be correctly spelt. That is very, very important. Spelling. You have to check the spelling. The first step. What you have to do when you get the question booklet. Okay. What is the first step? You get the information to open the question booklet. Just to relax. Okay. And open the booklet. Then... You have to read the titles and subtitles and underline the keywords. 
such as nouns, numbers, disease conditions, any complication, any medication, dosage, whatever information you felt it is very very important. Just underline. Second step. Two mothers you can use. Okay, two mothers you can use. Either you start from the matching question or for question from 15 to 20. Both method you can use. If you start from the beginning, you get an idea about the text and you can easily find out the rest of the answers. The second method is also good, but it is better to practice both and find out which one is suitable for you and you choose that one. I will repeat once more. Two mothers you can use. Either you start from the matching question or from the question or from questions 15 to 20. Okay. If you start from the beginning, you get an idea about the overall text and you can easily find out the answer. You can easily find out the rest of the answers. The second method is also good. It is better to practice both and find out which one is suitable for you and choose that one. Third step, use skimming and scanning method. This is very, very important here. The reading part, you have to use skimming and scanning. What is skimming? Skimming means fast reading. That is zigzag method. Like that, you have to read like that, zigzag method, you have to read like that. And a scan, scanning means finding the facts. You have to find out the paracetamol dose. What you will do? You will skim like that. You will get some information about paracetamol. Here you have to place your hand there. You have to check the peripheries and find out the answer. Simply, it is an ultrasound, it is an uh, ultrasonic examination. UST. Yes, simply uh, it is an example of UST examination. Just imagine, just to visualize, if you, you are suffering from abdominal pain since last two days, doctor advised for ultra ultrasonogram of whole abdomen. What you will do? You will go to one radiologist and he will, he will check the ab abdomen. First, he will check the surrounding. Then he will find out some information. Then he will place the probe there and check the surrounding areas. And finally, he will get the result. Like that, you have to find out the answer with the help of skimming and scanning. I hope you understood what I told you. Let's begin. Now, we are going to start the reading OIT reading subtest uh, part A. This is the uh, OIT reading part A test question booklet. This uh, this I have taken from taken from official uh, occupational English test dot organization www dot occupational English test organization. Uh, please try to practice the official pra practice. Uh, OIT reading part A from official website. Okay, you will get an overall idea about uh, the question booklet and you will get almost the same questions. Here, the title is Fractures, Dislocations and Sprains. This is the text A. Here, they have written fractures and uh, definition and types of fractures and dislocation. What is dislocation and, uh, and this sprain? What I told you, first you will get the question booklet. You have to get the information to open the question booklet. Just relax and open the question booklet and just read the uh, titles. Okay, just the titles and underline the titles. Fractures, dislocation and sprain. Here also fractures. This, this is fast reading, dislocation, sprains, what is sprains, elbow dislocation, just close to the compound, just underline these, these ways. Again, underline the subtext, simple fracture limbs, immediate management, immediate management, provide pain relief, pressure bandage, clinical assessment, what are the medical condition, and examine and record, color, warm, just underline 
you feel these are important throbbing getting bigger peripheral pulse are palpable joint function just underline okay just like an underline management just management fracture dislocation posture back slap elevate the limb morphine fentanyl x-ray okay drug therapy protocol indigenous to health worker medical officer nurse practitioner morphine im or i tandem strength 0.1 to 0.2 mg per kg maximum initial dose 2 mg then 0.5 mg and provide consume medicine respiratory depression nagir naloxone very very important technique what are the techniques okay just to make an under numbers noun and whatever you see just to make an under like images okay you will get an overall padding extra padding extra padding wrap crepe bandage okay just to make an underlay okay this is the find the keyword what you have to do then you have to go to question booklet then there also you are you have to read procedures here also make an under procedures for peri brainly procedures splinting a fractured limb what to record assessing a patient the terms used to describe types of fracture the practitioners who administer analgesia yeah. what to look for what to look for when when checking an injury how fractures can be caused this is the seven questions second what should be used elevate patient fractured leg what is the maximum dose of morphine per kilo maximum what that is the question okay which parts of the limb may need extra padding you have to give some stress to read the questions then you can understand very easily okay what should be used to treat a patient who suffers respiratory depression what should be used to cover freshly applied plaster back slab what analgesic should be given to a patient who is allergic to morphine what condition might a patient have if severe pain persists after splinting okay after splinting what you have to write falling on an outstretched hand a typical cause of dash upper limb fractures upper limb fractures elevated by means of make sure the patient is not wearing any what plaster back slab back slab is going to be placed check to see swollen limbs are dash or increasing in or increasing either increasing or swollen or in a plaster back slab there is a layer of dash closest to the skin patient age dash and over should be given the higher dosage of pain relief like that you have to underline the keywords you have to try to understand the meaning of the question also when you give when you mark the keywords okay i hope you understood what i am telling then what you have to do you have to come to the question okay i usually prefer to start from 15 to 20 you can start from the beginning also either you can start from the beginning also or from the 15 to 20 okay uh, here i am start i am going to start from 15 to 20 falling on an outstretched hand is a typical cause of a dash of the elbow what we have to do we have we have to put the question booklet then here we have to use the skimming and the standing method okay here the question booklet is fractures dislocation and sprain the question they are asking falling on an outstretched hand is a typical cause of a that is they are asking about they are the question is asking about any fracture some fracture or something like that okay 
then what we have to do we have to start from the beginning start here there are some fractures just with the zigzag method like that fractures closed where the skin is compound fracture over the skin dislocation where bone is completely displaced from the joint open you get some key points here you got here elbow dislocation after elbow after falling on an outstretched hand the question what the question is asking falling on an out, falling on an outstretched hand is a typical cause of a dash typical cause of a dash of the elbow what is the answer typical cause of a the answer is here elbow dislocation after falling on an outstretched hand okay falling on outstretched hand will cause elbow dislocation elbow dislocation the answer is dislocation write the answer in the space provided here you have to answer dislocation okay you have to write the answer dislocation the second one second number question 16 upper limb fractures upper limb what are the limbs we have upper limbs and lower limbs upper limb fractures should be elevated by means of a dash here you can visualize the answer also we are from medical field we know if there is any fracture on the upper limb what we will do if there is any fracture on the lower limb what we will do we can visualize the answer also okay we can imagine this will be the answer okay just imagine what will be the answer then go to the question booklet then a uh, simple fracture of a limb simple fracture of a limb the question what the question they are asking upper limb fracture should be elevated by means so okay here here um, the first uh, paragraph they are asking about they are saying about the fractures simple fracture of limb we will go the skimming we will uh, do the skimming and uh, skimming and uh, scanning here they are saying immediate management clinical assessment uh, the clinical assessment what are things here clinical assessment here with the question is uh, if there is an upper limb manage, management upper limb uh, fracture what should be fracture should be elevated what should, what we have to do there is uh, if there is an upper limb fracture what uh, should be elevated by means of a dash that is the question okay Uh, color with this is uh, they are asking about the joint function above the elbow above the elbow okay. joint function above the elbow in the injury check whether the limb is out of shape compare one side with other the limb is warm limb is swollen throbbing peripheral pulse or palpable split the site of the fracture split the site of the fracture or dislocation using a plaster back slab to reduce pain elevate the limb yes string for arm injuries or pillow for leg injuries if If in doubt over an injury, treat as a precautionary stance. See, elevate the limb. A sling for arm injuries. Here they are given the answer indirectly. Part of face division. Sling for arm injuries. What they ask? They ask upper limb fractures. The 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 question booklets. What they are saying? A sling for arm injuries. Arm injuries. A sling. a pillow for leg injuries a pillow for leg injuries and just underline that and a pillow for leg injuries okay you got the answer what is the answer here a uh, already uh, here article is given a uh, then you have to write sling make sure the patient is not wearing any not wearing what are the things we wear dress ornaments okay just to you visualize the answer make sure the patient is not wearing any dash okay on the part of the body where the plaster back slab is going to be placed just imagine before putting any plaster uh, back slab what we had we have to remove the clothes and ornaments okay Th that will be the that, that that we usually do okay so just imagine either dress or ornaments okay then what we have to do we have to go to the uh, question booklet then uh, the we are saying about the plaster back slab uh, do the uh, the first part of you didn't see any plaster back slab here also we didn't see then we come to here here they are saying about the duct therapy and we come to here test for here they are written something measure a uh, length of non compression cotton 
back stagnant from half way to just just uh, skimming yeah make sure length of plaster they are say, saying about the measurement immerse layer of plaster folding niche ensure any jewelry is removed from the injured limb what will be the answer ensure any jewelry we have to remove the jewelry items before putting any plaster okay check to see make sure what will be the answer here make sure the patient is not wearing any jewelry is the answer is jewelry okay jewelry okay what is the answer is jewelry so it is very difficult okay to write okay just you follow what i am seeing check to see next question check to see whether swollen limbs are okay dash or increasing in in size check. we have to check the swollen limbs are or increasing in size or dash we have to find out the answer okay here the last paragraph we already read the saying of the plaster uh, uh, plaster bachelor okay the second paragraph also they are saying about the duct therapy then we have to come to the uh, uh, text b uh, simple fracture limb immediate management or tenuous tenor hemorrhage by pressure bandage or direct pressure If there is any pressure hemorrhage you have to apply pressure bandage or direct pressure you have to apply immobilize after they are saying like that okay what is the question they are asking check to see whether swollen limbs are dash or increasing in size swollen they check to see whether swollen uh, up to a complete patient history they are asking about the indicator and uh, uh, color bar movement sensation everything you have to check uh, the skin of the fracture range of movement joint function uh, and elbow injury joint function above and elbow Uh, the limb is out of uh, um limb is out of shape compared one side the limb is warm the limb is swollen is throbbing or getting bigger peripheral pulse are palpable here i think here is the answer the limb is limb if swollen is throbbing what is the question they are asking check to see whether swollen limbs are or increasing in see how they are given the answer here getting bigger the question they are asking increasing in size uh, please my guys you have to know the paraphrase synonyms of the word okay here they are uh, the, in the question they are given increasing in size the question booklet the question, the text is saying getting bigger okay the limbs if solen is throbbing solen limbs is what throbbing okay solen limbs are throbbing or increasing in size okay that you have to write throbbing in a plaster next question in a plaster back slab there is a layer of dash closest to the skin in a plaster back slab there is a layer of dash dash uh, closest to the skin before applying plaster back back slab we have to Uh, here we will apply some layer or some cotton or something like that you know that is the usual procedure okay we have to visualize the answer like that so we are from medical professionals we are uh, from nursing field or uh, doctors or other professionals we know what will be the answer okay we can just visualize just imagine what will happen then what you have to do you have to go to the question booklet you have to understand the question in a plaster patch lab there is a layer of dash close to the skin okay we have to go to the plaster back slab techniques okay measure first they are saying measure uh, middle finger to the just elbow with this they are saying wrap cotton padding wrap cotton padding over top for the full length to the stagnant two layer they are saying to wrap cotton padding okay um uh, full length to the stagnant Uh, that is two layers or 50% overlap measure the length of plaster of paris 1 cm shorter than the padding or stock net at each end here they are saying cotton padding or stock net at each end 
they are saying to use the stockinet or cotton padding the you can write the answer like the stockinet cotton stockinet inmates next they are saying inmates the layer plast in a ball of a room temperature water holding on to each and then this goes out of the this is the technique okay ensure any jewelry is removed from the injured limb lightly mold the slab to the corners of the arm and hand in a neutral position do not apply pressure that is a wrap crepe bandage firmly around the plaster back of what they are saying the question what the question is asking in a plaster back back slab there is a layer of dash crossed to the closest to the skin what is the answer here layer of cotton padding padding a plast cotton padding we can write a cotton padding or stockinet we can write the answer like that okay patient's age 20 question 20th question patient's age dash and over shouldn't be given the higher dosage of pain relief they are asking about the medication so we have to go to the question medication okay medication is text drug therapy protocol just to do the skim and scanning if there is patient age more than here in patients greater than or is equal to more than greater than is equal to 17 years use the lower end of dose range in patient is greater than 17 years what is the question question they are asking patient age dash patient age 70 years or and over 70 years and over shouldn't be given the higher dosage of pain relief now we can understand no, what is the importance of uh, giving underlying key finding at the finding the key words in just we can immediately find out the answers okay then you come to the question 11 uh, sorry 8 to 14 that is the short answer question Hmm. Eighth number question. What should be used? You have to give some stress stress to the sentence. You have to find. You have to understand the meaning. What should be used to elevate a patient's fractured leg? Okay. What should be used to elevate a patient's fractured leg? Okay. You have to go to question book. Right. Fractured leg. If there is, I am. We only written the. We we have to use slim. The answer will be somewhere else there. So you have to go to there. Fracture limb, simple fracture limbs. Just to do the skimming, and uh, you will get here. See, elevate the limb. A uh, sling for arm injuries. A pillow for leg injuries. What is the question they are asking? What should be used? What should be used? A pillow to elevate. a patient's fractured leg okay patient fractured leg we have to use to elevate the patient fractured leg we have to use a pillow you have to write a pillow okay next question what is the maximum dose you have to give some stress okay what is you have to give some stress what is the maximum dose of morphine per kilo of a patient's weight that can be given using the intramuscular or im route okay they are saying about the medication drug im or i uh, subcutaneous adult only 0 to 1 to 0 to 2 mg so minimum dose is 0 to 1 maximum dose is 0 to 2 mg per kg the question they are asking maximum dose of morphine per kilo this directly it is given 0 to 1 to 0 to 2 mg per kg what is the answer maximum dose 0 to 2 mg okay then which parts of a limb may need extra padding see which parts of a limb need extra padding okay here they are saying about the plaster plaster back slab okay you have to go to that that paragraph text d measure just to skim and i uh, measure length the inmates layer of plaster in the jewelry lightly mold the slab to the continuous do not apply pressure over bony prominence extra padding can be placed where over bony prominence okay 
which parts of a limb many are separating bony here you have to write bony from see how it is simple you can easily get 20 out of 20 here you have to use some tips and tricks and understand try to understand the meaning of the question and try to find out the keywords and use the skimming and scanning easily you will get 20 out of 20 this is my guarantee if you practice like that definitely you will get 20 out of 20 my guys definitely this is my guarantee okay you practice daily minimum practice daily two or two to three question booklet from official occupational english test dot organization from the website you, you practice from the official website you will definitely you will get 20 out of 20 marks in oit reading per day it is very very simple okay if you get 20 out of 20 marks definitely you will definitely your uh, um, uh, score will boost okay 11 number question what should be used to what should be used to treat a patient who suffers respiratory depression okay the patient is suffering any respiratory depression what should be used okay they are asking about the medication what we have to we have to go the medication okay just to skim if there is any respiratory depression say res ah yes here respiratory depression if it should occur give naloxone what is the answer if there is any respiratory depression we have to give naloxone okay are you getting what should be used to cover you have to give some stress okay what should be used to cover a freshly applied plaster back lab a freshly applied plaster work back slab what should be used to cover okay so where you have to do where you have to go you have to go to the techniques okay uh, just to skim here uh, you can easily find out the answer see if, if you practice skimming and scanning you can easily find out the answer measure length the non compression length the part is temperature water folding light modding do not apply pressure wrap great bandage family around plaster back slab okay what great bandage see here they are saying the measurement wrap cotton padding over top for the full length of stone at 250 press over after that they are applying the plaster of Paris one centimeter immerse the plaster uh, at the room temperature according uh, one to each and gently squeezing and applying so they are saying some techniques and after the last thing apply crepe bandage family around plaster pack what is the answer crepe bandage okay what analgesic should be given to a person who is allergic to more what analgesics okay what analgesics give some stress to be given to a patient who is allergic to morphine the patient is al allergic to morphine what is another method okay alternative treatment what is alternative treatment you have to find out the answer okay morphine here they are saying about only the uh, morphine anything they are not saying here um, here spin the site of fracture and missed analgesia to a patient in severe pain if not allergic give morphine preferable if allergic to morphine use fentanyl okay see how see how we are getting the answer the what analgesic should be given to a patient who is allergic to what analgesic fentanyl here we have to write fentanyl what condition might a patient have if severe pain persists after splinting elevation and repeated analgesic what condition might have maybe the complication okay after what condition might a patient have if severe pain persists after splinting elevation and repeated we did all the management okay splinting elevation analgesia everything we given but still patient is having severe pain then what will be the condition we have to find out the complication that means that is complication okay somewhere we read here see assessment here simple first paragraph First text is saying about the fracture, not saying any uh, uh, complication. Simple fracture of limbs, 
see here uh, assessment examination color management splint uh, admission analysis severe pain consider compartment syndrome where pain is severe and unrelieved by splinting and elevation see question how they are asking what condition might a patient have if severe pain persists after splinting elevation and repeat analysis here see directly you got answer no compartment syndrome see these these questions we already learned from our nursing college so so you can easily find out the answer it's very simple okay i hope you are following with me and uh, then we come to the first match the questions okay we can use both method but i usually prefer to do from 15 to 20 then um, 8 to then 8 to 40 like that i usually prefer both method you can use okay here the first question procedures for delivering pain relief is there any procedures we got we got overall information about the uh, four tests okay then you can easily find out these seven answers also procedures for delivering pain relief first what they are asking about the fracture second they are asking about saying about the medical management and assessment and pain relief also uh, here also they are saying administer analgesia to patient in severe pain but there is no any procedure for pain relief third uh, there is no any pro they are not saying it, uh, anything about the procedures for pain relief but the third paragraph they are saying drug therapy protocol what is protocol what do you mean by protocol but protocol means a uh, another word of process procedure okay you have to follow these these part of call before giving any before giving this medication what is the protocol they are saying authorized indigenous health worker must consult medical officer or nurse practitioner then they are saying scheduled medicine medicines rural and isolated practice nurse pra practice registered nurse may proceed okay this is the protocol this is the procedure who will get registered nurse okay this is the protocol so the first answer here you have to write which paragraph e sorry which paragraph we got c here you have to write c okay the procedure to follow when splinting a fractured limb what are the procedures to follow when splinting a fractured limb we you you already got some idea about the text what are the procedure what are the procedure techniques for see other time they are given techniques this is also procedure techniques method procedures okay techniques for plaster packs or techniques measure length the wrap cotton measure uh, length the plaster packs once and these are the techniques these are the procedures or protocol we have to follow okay what is the answer here we have to write d c how we are getting the answers what to record when assessing a patient okay what to record when assessing a patient here they are asking about the assessment where we is where where is assessment assessment in the second part what to see color see clinical assessment here we have to see color warmth warmth movement sensation and these are what is the answer here we have to write b okay the terms used to describe different types of fractures what is the terms used to used to describe different types of fractures we already seen see what is the terms terms are different types of fractures this is fractures closed where the skin is in, in that compound where there is a break in the and overlying what is the term fractures dislocation spin this is the answer right a okay the practitioners who administer analgesia who registered nurse where we see where we can see see registered nurse may proceed okay test number c see we see we are getting the answer what to look for when checking an injury what to look for when checking an injury what to look what to look what will do color checking an injury 
obtain complete patient's history, including circumstances and method of injury, medication history, require about anticoagulant, perform standard clinical observation, examine and record, color warm. So what to look, color warm movement and sensation of hands and feet of injured limbs. Where is the answer? B. Okay. How fractures can be caused? How fractures can be caused? How fractures can be caused? Simple fracture of limbs. They are saying, text B saying, how fractures can fractures? Here, fractures. Buckle or break in the bone. Okay. How often occur? How how? Often occur following direct or indirect injury. Okay. Twisting violence to bonds. Directly the first sentence. What is the answer here? Test A. I hope you understood. Uh, reading part A. The final part. Okay. Final part. Final tips I am going to give you. Okay. I hope you watched the video till the end. Final tips, time management is very, very important. You have to finish, you have to finish your 20 questions within 15 minutes period, okay? Maximum try to finish your answers within 40 minutes and the last one to two minutes utilize for spell check and uh, spell check and if you miss any questions and uh, you can find out the answer in the last one to two minutes, okay? And second tips, second tips is Always use skimming and scanning method. That is very, very important. Skimming, practice skimming and scanning. Skimming and zigzag method. Okay, zigzag method is skimming and scanning. Always uh, practice skimming and scanning method in OIT reading part A. Okay. Third, practice make perfect. Practice, practice, practice. Definitely you will get 20 out of 20. Okay. Practice, try to understand the meaning of the question. And find out the keywords, give stress wherever you want, give stress and understand the meaning and understand the question and find out the answer. Definitely you will get, yeah, definitely you will get 20 out of 20 in OIT reading part. Definitely your, your um, uh, score will post, okay? I hope you understood uh, reading part A. Yeah. In coming videos, we will do more practice and definitely I will give you great valuable things. In my videos okay thank you for watching my videos signing off sanita